guys welcome back to my kitchen today we're going to be making a simple balsamic chicken recipe that is so easy and so good I thought I would just give you a shot of what we're going to be using and then I'll put you on the tripod and we'll get started okay I've got my skillet heating with some olive oil you just want enough to cover cover the bottom probably a tablespoon or two Cover the bottom of the pan. This is so simple, guys, and it tastes so good. Uh, this is two chicken breasts that I have sliced half so that it made four um, because they're huge, and this will give us leftovers. Chris has to go into the office tonight, so I will be sure and send him some balsamic chicken. Okay, we're going to let this sear just a little bit, and what I have here is have half a teaspoon of dried basil, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. So, I'm just gonna get my measuring spoon and kind of stir that up a little bit like this. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle it over this chicken. It doesn't really matter if it's going to be super even or not because we're going to make a sauce that's going to go over this before we pop in the oven and it will all sort of even out. So we've got this going and we're just gonna let this come to a nice um, sizzling, searing. We want it browned on both sides but not cooked the whole way through. Okay, I have turned it. Now what I'm going to do is just sprinkle it with a little bit of garlic powder so that this side has some seasoning as well. Not a lot, maybe a com combined for all of them, maybe half of a teaspoon. You just want a light sprinkle. So now we're gonna let it cook on this side for a few minutes. Okay, the chicken is seared, but it's not done by any means. So we're going to transfer it over here to this baking dish. I lined it with oil. My hope is for easy cleanup, but you just never know. Sometimes the, the, you know, the sauce will spill over and you end up with just as big of a mess. So, all right, next I'm gonna keep using the same skillet and I have one and a half tablespoons of minced garlic that I'm just going to put in here and stir it around. And then I'm going to add one fourth of a cup of balsamic vinegar. And I'm just gonna let that cook for a minute with the garlic. I think a fourth of a cup of Splenda brown sugar. And they say use a packed cup. So I will do that. And mix this in. It smells really good at this point. All right. Then we add one, let's see, what do I have here? One 14 and a half ounce can of petite diced tomato. And we're gonna let them, I'm gonna turn up my heat just a little bit because what I'm about to add is my frozen red pepper strips, green pepper strips and onions because we like, we really enjoy the taste of the onions and the peppers mixed in with the balsamic. Okay, and I'm just gonna let this heat up and it takes a few minutes because I use the frozen pepper strips to do this. This is my convenience item. I And it's it's like $2.39 for a one pound, four ounce bag. So I get several uses out of one bag and it's a lot less expensive than buying green peppers, red peppers, onions. I prefer fresh, but days like today when I'm just trying to get a meal on the table, I will go for the more convenience type items like this and this is good so if you haven't tried it maybe you should what I'm going to do at this point is sprinkle just a little bit of Italian seasoning onto this um, not much my guess would be maybe maybe a teaspoon probably probably a little more than half a teaspoon and a little less than a teaspoon okay our vegetables and the balsamic mixture are starting to come to a slight simmer. You can see the steam, I hope, and the little bubbles. Uh, what I did do, I tasted it, and I thought it needed a little more balsamic, so I added another fourth of a cup. 
So that would be a total of half a cup of balsamic vinegar to this because now what I do is I add chicken broth and I'm going to add, I have two cups right here in my, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it all though. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put, yep, that's a cup and a half. Let's see how this does. I think that looks perfect. I'm going to very carefully pour this over our chicken, just like that, that is perfect. Okay, uh, turn that off, put this in the sink, and here's what it's gonna look like. The more up close look, what it will look like right before you pop it in the oven. And I will cover it, I will fold my foil over and make like a packet and I will put it in the oven and it will bake for approximately 40 minutes at 375. Okay, okay, our chicken's in the oven. And while that is baking, I am going to cook some mini bow tie pasta. And I also, what I will do is, I bought some of the frozen Texas toast garlic bread. I will make one piece of that and I'll cut it into four strips and we will share one piece of uh, garlic bread for our dinner. And so. I had to pop back on just for a brief moment to give you an update. Today is day 40 of no smoking for me. I have made it 40 whole days without smoking. It has not been easy, yay. I still still struggle at times. It's not, I'm not gonna lie and pretend like it's just a piece of cake because it was really, really hard. But day 40, so woo. Okay, here is our finished product. Balsamic chicken with bow tape pasta some shredded Parmesan cheese, and two little garlic breadsticks. And that is what's for dinner. Well, what's this? Is this balsamic chicken with bow tie pasta? It is. All right, well, I think I will try some. Well, we've had it before, but I want you to do a taste test and see how it is give today. your your wonderful descriptive. It's very hot, don't burn your face no, off. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's as good as it always is. It's very, Yay. very flavorful. You can taste all of the the components in here. The you can taste the tomato. You can taste the olives. You can taste the cheese. Um, slight tartness because of the balsamic, and uh, <laughs> it's good. It's very good as always. Thank Great. you, honey. Great. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye.